Hi, my name is Jason Kruger, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Infusionsoft tag strategy. Now, what do I mean by a tag strategy? What is it? Well, a tag strategy is a way of depicting how you're actually going to use tags in your system. An example of this would be how you're going to segment your database. You know, you could put as many people in your database as possible, but if you don't actually know what they might be interested in, um, where they've come from, it's a bit more difficult to um, market to them effectively. Um, but also it helps you uh, differentiate between your tags. So why do I need a tag strategy? Well, tags give Infusionsoft the power over other autoresponders. You know, in other autoresponders, you can only have different lists, but you might have that contact on, di on those different lists, which means that you can have that contact two, three, four times in your database, which also then means that you don't know how many emails they're actually getting. And also with tags, you need order. Otherwise, your account just looks a big mess and you'll never be able to find the right tag uh, to use in your system, which might have other things following on from it. So how do you come up with a tag strategy? Well, first of all, decide how you want to segment your database. Now, when I say segment your database, I mean, how have you met that person? The relationships, for example. Are they a client? Are they a prospect? You can also segment it by behavior. Have they clicked on that registration link that you, you, you sent them? Did they register for that webinar? Did they attend that webinar? You know, you can have those types of types of things in the in the database, which allows you to see, you know, who are the people that are actually responding to you properly. You can also then decide what you want to know about the people, you know, that have been added to your list. You know, what are their interests? Are they actually interested in in a subject that you're trying to teach, or are they interested in a product that you might have? You know, once you know that kind of information, you can then send them some marketing information regarding that product. Now, within Infusionsoft, there's two kind of levels. You have your tag categories and the tags that fit into those categories. Now, tag categories, you can have you know, as many as you like, but I've come up with a kind of a, a basic structure um, that I think is quite important. You can have um, all these different types of categories, like the relationships, the behavior. Are they interested in a subject that you might be teaching? interested in products. If you have a membership site, uh, you know, you can put other tags in there regarding that. You know, demographic, you know, if you're looking at companies, you know, what size are they? Are they male, female? All that type of information. And, you know, I've left a few there uh, where, where they blank. You know, you can have, you know, whatever you need in there. Now, the last one, admin. Now, that's one that you would use in, in your system, let's say, to start a campaign. Now, I've got a number sequence um, in front of those uh, categories. The reason for this is that by having the numbers within Infusionsoft, you can then order them via those, via those numbers so that you then have that order within uh, your account. So if you, if you are looking for a, a tag when you're creating a campaign, you know exactly where to find it. So going from here, uh, you know, you want to name your tags. Now, I'm going to use the relationships as an example. Now, the reason why I've actually used a four-digit number is that you can then segregate it even further, and so you can have even more um, data about your contact that's in your database. You know, like we've used 1,000 for relationships. You can then have, you know, 1100 for prospects or 1200 for a customer. But that also then allows you to go even further. You could have 1110 for prospects that come from a particular web form or just web forms in general. You know, it, it does give you um, a lot of power um, using a number sequence. Um, and again, it, it then allows you to find those tags uh, much easier when, when you need them. Now, this is all very well, but how can you actually use tags in, in Fusionsoft? Well, as I said, if you use uh, an admin tag, you could actually start a, uh, a whole email campaign. 
um, using it. You know, you create a, an email campaign and you start it off with a with a tag goal. Uh, you then go and find those prospects that you that you want to start the campaign with. You know, find them and then tag them with that particular with that uh, particular tag, and it will start that whole email campaign for you. You can tag people when they click a, a link in your email. So one, you know that they've actually read your email and they've clicked on and gone to that web page. But you know, you, you can also see if they've actually registered for um, a particular webinar that you 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 might have. And uh, once the webinar's got completed you can tag them to say that they've attended or not attended. So you can actually then use that information to send them relevant emails afterwards. And you can also use them in campaigns. Now, with, when, when you create a whole campaign, you could have a tag at the beginning of an email sequence, and uh, depending on how long the sequence is, you could have tags along the way. So if you wanted to see a particular uh, contact, you could go to that contact, look at their tags, and then you can actually see, yes, they're actually in the middle of that email campaign. Uh, they've clicked on this uh, web form or, or this link in this email, and they've actually registered for my webinar next week. So it does give you a lot of different ways of using tags uh, in Infusionsoft. I hope the information that I've given you in this video today um, will be of use to you and will help you harness the power of tags within Infusionsoft.